Wait, 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 before you do anything hasty. Yeah, I told Chloe you wanted to rob her, and you have every reason to hate me. I mean, we're friends and I did that, but there is an explanation, okay? Talk fast. Why did you betray me? Oh, it's great that you decided to talk. That's the sign of a keen mind. And keen minds see opportunity. Just, just let me explain, friend. I didn't give you up for nothing. It was advantageous for both of us that I told her. What benefit was there for me? You screwed me over. Hey, whoa, no. Hold your horses, okay? I have Chloe's trust again. Well, I mean, she doesn't completely hate me anymore, which is beneficial. Chloe's treasure trove would never have covered her debt to the Duke. And if you can't pay him, the Duke owns you. I mean, technically, the Duke owns everyone in the fort, but you don't want to owe him too. So what we need to do is work out where Chloe's Alexit is going and why. Then we can help her, you and me. The old rat doesn't do things by halves. That's still not an explanation. The world is a complicated place. You can't expect answers to be straightforward all the time. Just let me figure this out and we will all benefit. We need to follow the Alexic, but trust me, you don't want to know about the dupe's dealings. The rat always has a plan. But to get the best plan, I need to know the facts. I will work on Chloe. Come back in one or two days. You'll find me in Chloe's bar. I should know more by then. Trust in the rat, my friend. So, about your plan with Chloe. Hey, hey, be patient. I'm not that fast. Just give me some time with her. I'm only just getting her trust. She's not just gonna blurt out why she can't pay the Duke's tribute anymore. Some things just take time. Yes, the plan is forming. And? Chloe's finally opening up. It just took a little time to get through to her, and then some drink to get her talking. What information did you get out of her? Why she can't pay the Duke. I mean, she's in charge of the entertainment district, so she should have Alexa coming out of her ears, right? Yet, she's desperate to collect debt money. She's got no shards to spend. She can't cover the Duke's tribute. I mean, there has to be a story to be told. And? Are you going to tell me the story? Chloe is being forced to pay protection money. She can't pay the Duke or anyone else because she's already being bled dry. Hmm, we shouldn't talk here. Walk with me a moment. Let's go talk outside. Follow me and try not to get noticed. Okay, go ahead. I don't want everybody to hear what I'm about to tell you. The situation isn't exactly safe. Yeah, you just can't find those these days. Come on, let's get somewhere we can talk. Okay, I don't think anyone will overhear us here. Weapons down! Smart decision. So, this is what I've learned. A guy called Blake is behind this. He's forcing Chloe to pay protection money. Who is Blake? Blake is one of the district overseers here. He's in the upper section of the fort. Not the best overseer we have, let's put it that way. Total self-righteous asshole, to put it another. But who am I to question the Duke? So, you finally got some information. How could you doubt the rat? Before we go any further, let me make one thing clear. 
Under no circumstances should you speak to Blake. If you approach him now, I've got no doubt he'd back off and leave Chloe alone, but that would just mean he'd just come back later when he thought things had blown over. We need to force him to forget about the protection money for good. Otherwise, what's the point? So, what's the plan? We should focus on Blake. Despite all his influence, he's been going through bodyguards. Three of them have died in the last two months, but if anybody knows why, nobody is saying. We need to go through his things and find out why. There has to be some dirt there and we can use it. We just need some hint. Then we can sort all this out to our benefit. Chloe gets freed from Blake and we get the shards we need. Why do you think the bodyguards are dead? Well, he seems to have some business to take care of outside the fort. And sure, it can be dangerous out there. And Blake claims the bodyguards were killed by jackals while he was out hunting. But that just doesn't sound right. If you can get to Blake's place, look through his things, then maybe you can turn up some proof of what really happened. Anything that relates to bodyguards. Why don't you go and find the information? Hey, did William tell you or me to collect the tribute? I'm trying to help you get the money Chloe owes. I don't have to help you. You know, I found all this out to help you. So now it's your turn to do something, friend. I can't carry all this plan on my own. Look through Blake's stuff and come back to me when you've found something. Then we'll figure out the next step. I am going back to Chloe's bar. I'll see you there. You're forcing Chloe to pay protection money. Be careful with your accusations, friend. You think turning up here and spreading lies is a good idea? Lies like that will get you in trouble.
I don't even want to know. I found this list at Blake's. A list? All right, let's see if it's anything useful. Hmm, I'm guessing it's a list of names, but with this writing, Bodhi, Gerds, Aaron, Iron, Ma Madison, off, oh, Iron Madison, Ryan, Re Re Ryan. You know, whoever wrote this can't spell. Well, this seems to be a list of candidates for bodyguards for Blake. That idiot Cameron must have written this before he was killed. Okay, then it's clear what we have to do. Show Blake the list. What? No, absolutely not. What's that going to achieve? Listen, my friend, I'll explain it to you. If Blake's latest bodyguard, Ryan, was to die or quit, the names on this list would be candidates to replace him. So, we should change the name on the top. Then, we put the list back and give Blake a reason to hire someone new. By we kill him, you mean you want me to kill him? That's why I like you, friend. You can see how a plan works. You take care of Ryan, and I'll take his place. After I've written my name on top of the list, I'll put it back in Blake's place. You take care of Ryan in the meantime. The idiot prides himself on being loyal, so chances are you'll have to kill him. Trying to persuade him might just mean he speaks to Blake and then our chances will be blown. Got it? Yes. Okay, then go. You take care of Ryan and I'll become Blake's new bodyguard. Then we will find out what's going on. See you up at Blake's. I heard he was robbed. <clears throat> so fuck off, will you, yeah? I'm trying to talk to you. All right, all right. I've just been having a bad day. Don't make it worse. What do you want from me? 
What are you doing out here? You've gone through all that to ask me that? Are you serious? Are you speechless now or what? Sure, fine, whatever. Just stand there without a word. I'll fill the void with words instead. Uh, my day got stranger when you arrived, you know? I'm Blake's bodyguard. I'm just out here on a break. What happens if he's killed while you're on a break? Ah, uh, Blake doesn't need me as long as he stays inside. He only takes me to watch his back when he goes ripper hunting. And when he goes on business trips. That's why I took the job. Plenty of free time. Does that answer your question? Do you want to trade? Do I want to... Actually, yeah, I've got some things to trade. I thought about it. I'm going to punch you in the face. I told you, I'm out here on a break. This is the last shit I need on my time off. I'll get you! <coughs> I don't know anyone who is pissed at that guy. Ryan is dead. Right. I've put my name on the list and got it in place. It's going to be fishy if I turn up and tell Blake his bodyguard is dead. You had better do it. Won't Blake think it's strange? Me telling him about the bodyguard. What? You mean that he's dead? He might suspect I killed him. Yeah? So what if he does? People get killed in Tavar all the time. And he is pretty used to his bodyguards dying on him one after another. Just go to Blake and tell him you found Ryan's body. You could even suggest that he needs to get a new bodyguard. Sometimes he can be a little slow on the uptake. Right. Then come back and tell me when he knows about Ryan. I found your bodyguard. What do you mean, found? He's dead. Huh. I knew that guy wouldn't last. You know when you get that feeling that you're gonna have to find yourself another bodyguard? You'll have to find another. Yeah, yeah. And I hate interviews. Fortunately, having been in this position before, I have a handy list of people ready to take on the job. Oh well, on to the next one. Thanks for letting me know. You needed to be told. Yeah? Just don't make me ask how you found out. Now piss off. 
I need to find myself a new bodyguard. Blake knows Ryan is dead. Okay, now we wait until he comes to me. I have an idea what you could do in the meantime. How about you go to Doc and get us something to celebrate? Okay. Here, take a few shards. That should be enough to get something from Doc. Where did you get those shards from all of a sudden? You know, shards, they sometimes just turn up. Oh, and tell Doc he should mix us up something special. Just tell him I sent you. Hey, that's Blake coming now. We'd better not be seen talking. Rat sent me to pick up a few chems. Ah, the good old Rat. Yeah, yeah. He said you should send him some of the special stuff. I know, I know, the good old Doc knows. The special stuff, right? Yeah. You want chems, you come to a chemsmith. Exactly. No problem. I will take care of it. Trust the Doc, and I will get to work on it right away. Come back in a few hours. I'll have them ready then. Hey, hey! I have your order for rat. Be careful with it. <laughs> because <laughs> I outdid myself with this. Have fun. Now, fly, birdie. Fly! I'm sorry, if you're looking for Blake, Blake doesn't live here anymore, friend. If you need something from now on, come to me. I'm the new boss here. Shit, man. What did you do to Blake? Me? Who said the rat did anything? You don't want to believe the rumors about him being staked down and eaten alive by jackals. They're just rumors. Say, wasn't there a time I came to you for money? And you laughed in my face and gave me two shards? That was a long time ago, Rat. I didn't mean anything by it. Well, forget your shards. I own you now. Say yes, Rat. Yes, Rat. See? That's how plans work, my friend. You play the long game. <laughs> uh. Welcome back, my friend. What happened? You know, I thought about it, but the bodyguard job just wasn't for me. Looking at Blake, I realized I was much better suited for his job. I just had to get close enough to him when he wasn't here in the fort, and without a bodyguard around. And what do you know, with the things you did and some plans and a bit of luck, that's exactly what happened. What about Chloe's debt to the Duke? Blake introduced me to the bloody and showed me where Chloe's shards were buried. You can tell William that Chloe will pay the Duke's tribute from now on. I will cover her outstanding debts. The bloody? Who are you talking about? Baxter. Bloody Baxter. The guy who ruled the fort here before the Duke took over. The guy who survived the Duke's jackals and who fled the fort, streaming with blood? 
I mean, that bloody guy. You met Bloody Baxter. You don't meet Bloody Baxter. He invites you, and you go, and you hope you can get to come back. I only told you that because I think you and I are good friends now. But it's best you forget that now. Baxter is dead, okay? As far as you believe, Baxter died years ago. So, let's get to the bit about your share. You and I are a team, friend, and friends look after each other. If you remember, you gave me 50 shards when we first met. Now, it's my turn to help you. And I'm not just talking shards here. I've got something special. Just don't talk to anyone about this. You'll learn what the claw means when the time is right. Until then, hold on to it. I told you, friendships pay off. And who knows, maybe I can lend you a hand again during your time here. That is, if you decide to join up with us. But now, I have to take care of my new duties. See you around, my friend. I have the chems you wanted from Doc. Ah, yes. I only asked for them to keep you busy. You can keep them if you want. I can't touch that stuff now I'm in charge. But hey, more fun for you. What goods have you got? All right, 